Hey guys and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. So we are currently stomping on Denmark because unfortunately their big brothers Austria were not available to come and help them. Oh daddy widows. So we are shitting on their faces. Not literally of course, figuratively. Because what's better than shitting on someone's figurative face? So, we should take over this stretch, like, easy. If you want to go there, that's 19th of March, we'll get there on the 27th of March. And as soon as they move on the, the 19th, we will send our men over to here, they'll get there on the 5th of April, we'll get there on the 8th of April. Fucking piss pots! Get my fucking way! That's got on the 22nd. Like, we he's trying to do? Right. Now get the... Ugh. One, two, three. So... One, two, three. Okay, let's pull some men back here. Let's... Select you, send you up there, select you, send you up there, and select you, and send you up there. There we go. So now we've reinforced this a bit, which is with 13 men. And the rest of those are going to siege where they need to be. Which is great because it means that whenever these places get taken, we can just send them back down. And then they can just defend us crossing, and we literally need to do nothing more than that. Until Denmark decide that it's probably a good idea just to give us what we want. We went under military alliance with our enemy Hungary. So what's happening with you, Russia? You're at war with Lithuania, Poland and Genoa. Yeah, are you? You just gonna stomp all of those? Usual, usual. The siege of Bohuslan is over. So that means let's bring these guys down to Skane or Scanna or whatever it's called. 49%, that should be over very soon. Oh, maybe not, maybe it just needs an extra tick. Right, how's the rest of them doing? How are you guys up here? Yeah, 49, 7, 28. Really? That was twice. I saw you do that twice. Crikey. Let's uh, grab these guys and combine them. You better. Wow. This is just so bad. So much bad luck here. Breach the wall, still can't do it. Siege of Akershus is over. Siege of Trollolol is over. Let's bring you back down here. These other sieges should go over pretty quickly. Oh, one of our generals died. That's alright, he was pretty pants. 52 army tradition, let's see what we get. 233. Three. It's alright, it's quite rounded. It saves us from putting our uh, military leader out in the front of the battle, so. Ah, perfect. Let's grab that. No problem at all. Let's, um. I doubt they will come over the water at this many men, so I'm feeling alright at upgrading these guys. Wait, okay. What do we get? Oh, it's just the cannons and the... And these guys. Caval Gallop Cavalry and Leather Cannons. Yes. This game is going on for far longer than I expected it to do this for this achievement. Just because of Russia. Like, if Russia weren't there, it would be a lot freaking different. Let's just say that. Oh, they did come across. Um, we won. I did not expect that. That's fine. Like, if you want to do that, okay. Um, that means that we should be able to cross over as long as they don't pull their troops across. Yep, there you go. Ah, we just lost 51 ducats. That's a lot of ducats. That's a lot of them ducats. There we go. We won the Siege of Finnmark as well. So that means that both of you guys can get pulled over to here. 
what we're going to do is we're going to detach a siege there and move to the next one. Detach a siege there, move to the next one. Detach a siege there, move to Mitchland. Let's murder these guys first, just so they don't cause any issues. Up to Nordyland. Nord I want one of you guys to go down to here. Actually, both of you guys I want just to go down to Slevzlilik. Because we're going to detach a siege there, and detach a siege there, and then... Alright, maybe not. Maybe we'll just come down here, come back, detach a siege, and come back down. There we go, and now we are chain sieging the entirety of Denmark. Which is glorious, and beautiful, and I hate Denmark. Denmark! We're going to siege everywhere, and you're going to die, and I'm going to be happy. Apart from Oslo, Oslo is the only place that I'm not sieging right now. Jesus Christ. Although if we can vassalize them, that'll be even better. We want the siege of Strieland. So we'll pull you down into here. Uh, we're probably going to win this siege very soon. Hopefully, with any luck. Yep, the siege of Finn is over. So we can pull you guys here. This is just in case any of their allies decide that they want to come in and do something. Hopefully we can get ourselves Denmark as a... Actually, we can check, can't we? I don't want annexation. I would prefer to get Swedish vassal. Total cost of the provinces is too great. So we can take Stjelland and the rest of these places, more than likely. How much? Let's see how much that's going to cost. We want all of these places just to even everything out for us. Right, that there's 56. We can't take Stjelland? Oh yeah, obviously they've got Denmark also. Oh, it's Stjelland der Kapo, that is. Finn, Mikuland. We will take Lolland as well, more than likely. We'll see what we can take when we do it. Siege of Lolland is over. That siege of that place is over. Fucking phone is ringing. Jeez, what the fuck is it? Oh, it's in my pocket. Where the hell is the house phone in my pocket? Where'd you go? Found it. Never mind. Shut the fuck up, house phone. Nobody likes you. Nobody uses you. I don't even know why you're in here. Oh, well, I know why you're in here because I put you in my pocket like an idiot. <laughs> uh. Dems the brakes, apparently. Hopefully we'll be able to take this over pretty sharpish, so we stop losing... Oh, we're not, we're not gaining them... Um, attrition here, which is awesome. There we go, the Siege of Nordland's over, and that's just pretty much Siege Denmark, apart from, like, Iceland. And, like, these places up here, but... I'm not too bothered about them right now. When we annex... Uh, when we annex Denmark, we'll get them. I was going to say, when we uh, vassalise them, what we'll get them, but annexation, vassalisation. Same deal, bruh. Um, that's only 60%, are you kidding? I want Lolland, I want Nordland. Oh, uh, I can't get Nordland. If I get rid of Lolland, can I get Nordland? I can! I can get Finn Midland and Jordland. And we'll leave Noland, Lolland for them. Is that right? That's 2.41, that's 3.8, yeah, that's right. So yeah, we'll do that. I mean, I can just sit here and let the ticking war score go if you really want Denmark. I have absolutely no issue with that whatsoever. Um. Suppose we could grab our 
Oh, these are our trade ships. Let's just send them back into the Baltic Sea. These are the other ships. Like, that's... It's just too far for me to send them to go and, like, see to blockade them or anything. Which is lame, but, you know, I'm not going to do it. We can get a new technology. Mm, yeah, let's get it. <laughs> we can build provincial rooms. We're also missing an advisor. Trade efficiency on morale and navies. Let's go trade efficiency. Yes. Well, let's go do missions and ideas. Create a proper fleet. We will do that as soon as this war is over. Um, anything else or ideas? We could get a grand army, which increases the force limits. We've only just done that, so yeah, let's do that. Grand army. Boom. Awesome, 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 awesome. So that's just got a chunk of extra force limits, so what does that put us up to? 47, I'm looking at you, Russia. I am fucking looking at you. After we take all this land as well, it's going to be a lot, lot higher. What's the other ideas we can take? Uh, tech cost down. Hells to the air. Yearly army tradition decay as well is also good. Long term investment, trade efficiency, or 530 ducats. Like, as you can see, trade efficiency by 15% or 530 ducats. I know what one I want. 530 bloody ducats. Are we going to become Defender of the Faith? Ha! That's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> Defender of the Protestant Faith. I love it. Convert to Catholic. LOL. We could convert to reform and get extra possible advisors and tolerance heretics. Like we want to. Fucking idea cost lower and national tax modifier positive. Fucking Protestant all the way. Wasn't even difficult, I thought it was going to be tough. God. So now we've got cheaper tech, which is great. Oh, discoveries have just spread. So that's as we can see a lot more over there now. Not much over this side, but we can see a lot more over here. Uh, Sweden is getting nice looking now. Really bloody nice looking now. You've got low war enthusiasm, do you? And a ridiculous war score. Yet you still don't want to give me this. Just because demands exceed war score, really. Um. Yeah. The war exhaustion's giving me plus 28. The military strength is weak. I'm making gains, apparently. Oh, God. Our nobles with the states close to the frontier are concerned that we are neglecting our defences. They have voiced their worries to all and sundry. Losing stability. Great. I hate that. I hate losing stability for no fucking reason. Uh, we've got enough to boost that, I suppose. Yeah, let's just boost it. Don't want to spend any money right now. Um, We will raise war taxes though, so we're getting a bit more. Because I like money. It's great. We're getting a decent amount of change from like all of these places been thinking because this is a twelve fucking base this is a twelve tax province. A base of eight, for crying out loud. That's pretty damn strong. Oh, why are you? I didn't realise that you guys were suffering attrition here. Why are you suffering attrition? Oh, it's winter. Of course. He's not actually suffering attrition, it's just winter. Eek. Austria accepted peace from Denmark. Denmark will concede defeat with no CB. Austria gains 10 prestige. Alright. Not like that's really going to change anything. The only difference is, like, Ossel isn't. Um. Isn't siege, that's it. I am happy just sitting in your provinces until you decide to accept my terms of surrender. Well, this is back up to 70 anyway. Every month that ticks. 18% we've got just now. 18.4. So, eventually, unless they come and try to do something to me, like, it's not going to work for them. 
I mean, we could go and siege Pomerania and Utrecht, but, like, what's the need? What's the bloody need? I mean, we can't even get there because we're not allowed to go through Holstein. I suppose... No, it's Lubeck that you really want. You don't really want that. Lubeck or Antwerp in here. We will just, we will literally just sit on you, Denmark, until you give up. Call for peace. Ah, I hate the call for peace. Peace offer from Denmark. If you're not offering me Akersh, Bohuslan, Finnmark, Finn, and Halogland, I will not be happy. Bohuslan, Halogland, Trollingland, Akersh to Sweden. Denmark will announce their claims and we'll pay 40 ducats. You're not going to give me Finnmark. Finnmark's easy for me to take. I mean, like, I've no problem with that. If you want to have this little province up here, that is absolutely fine with me. This is basically just so that I don't get this fucking call for peace shit. How much are we off? Oh, we're too off. Fuck that shit. So the utmost importance or lose pre or lose one prestige. Oh, too off for getting one more province. There we go. Done, motherfuckers. Look at that. Denmark sent out a coalition. Oldenburg sent out a coalition. Bremen sent out a coalition. Shit. We won't be able to get these guys back home unless we do this. <laughs> That's fine. Just don't use go, gents. Oh, fuck. Whatever, man. I'm just going to pull them into here. Ugh, let's um, call that. Oh, we have no admin power. That is harsh. It's harsh treatment. Harsh treatment. Can't harsh treatment that. Where is the other places? Harsh treatment. Everywhere that we just took, we kind of need to harsh treatment so that they don't fucking rise up against us just now. Especially with our uh, with our army being stuck over here right now. Um. No, I want to. Yep, I want to get here and harsh treatment. It. We have no possible way of getting there because Jelland is. Denmarkian. <laughs> Could we get military access? <laughs> Could we get military access, please? Oh god. We've got enough money. We've got enough money. Let's just. Three, four, five. Yeah, let's make five. Oh, Denmark refused military access? What a bunch of scumbags. Alright, guys, anyway, what we'll do is in the next episode, we will get these built and we'll see you then so as always guys thanks a lot for watching yes thanks a lot for watching and hopefully i will see you next time Bye bye